Hey Leo, my sister, brother, son, how you guys doing? This is your timeless reading, your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to support your girl. That's all I ask of you. Um, also, if you like live readings for Zodiac signs and Zodiac horoscopes, follow me on Instagram at The Honest Home Girl. You will find my Zodiac horoscopes, my timeless Zodiac horoscopes on my reels, and you will find all my live readings that I've done, which are also timeless um, on my IGTV, okay? Now, let's get into your intuitive message, Leo. Now, Leo, you could be dealing with walking away from a person. You could be dealing with disappointment, just like your sister sign Aquarius. So I do recommend that you go, you go and watch that Aquarius reading, okay? Because that may heavily resonate with you guys as well. Um, at this time, I do feel like you're growing, you know, and you're expanding. And that's why you're having a change in your thought process, especially when it comes to your partners and your relationships. And you're like, you know what? I'm not dealing with all this heartbreak and disappointment when I could have better. Like, and, and I know I deserve better. And you're like, I'm leaving these losers behind. Like, you you can go because I'm really stepping into my power. I'm embracing joy. I'm embracing success. I'm embracing creativity. I'm manifesting my dreams. I'm focused on healing myself inside and out. I'm focusing on my inner beauty and my attributes and the things that I bring to the table. And it's like, I bring all this to the table and you ain't got nothing on your plate or on the table. So guess what? You got to go, okay? Uh, and that's what you could be telling somebody. You're really focusing on your self-love at this time as well. If you are planning on making a major decision now, I'm very big on not making decisions with temporary feelings. Make sure you are stable. Make sure you are grounded and you are in a happy place, a joyful place when making decisions with breaking up with people, uh, changing careers. You want to make sure that you are in a, a great place and you're not making a mistake, okay? And you're not making decisions based off of feelings that you may not feel three days from now, four days from now, a month from now. You get what I'm saying? So just... Just wait, okay? What you can do is pray on it and ask God to reveal the truth to you on what it is that you need to do and just keep yourself balanced emotionally because uh, you want to use your emotional intelligence at this time, something that your Aquarian sister brother is very great at, okay? So we are going to get into the divine feminine energy, the divine masculine energy, then we'll get into the random messages at the end, including... Um, the messages from your person okay so we are going to get into the divine feminine energy okay spirit what is going on with leo well good gosh because this fell on the floor i'm thinking of foundation you want a forever lasting relationship you want a job that this is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. This is the energy of you having such a tight-knit relationship with your spouse, with your family, that even through the good and the bad, you guys are going to always have each other's back, okay? Some of you, you may um, be in law, okay? Definitely listen to that Aquarius reading, because this is going to be the job that you have for the rest of your life. Like After you retire, you will be retiring from this job that's pertaining to the government or the law. Okay? This is going to be the job that you retire from. For others of you, it's like a forever, never-ending cycle with you and the law. You having to go to court. You having to... Um, uh, rectify situations or like you could even already be in this field and you're just like I am tired of seeing the same people in and out of here <laughs> type of energy um for others of you you are trying to um make something last forever with a Libra okay and you've been divinely guided to make things right with this person or bring justice to the situation especially if you were the person that did the wrongdoings okay your female ancestors are guiding you at this time they are guiding you to work on finding um 
yourself so that you can find that uh, divine counterpart so that you can start a family and get what it is that your heart desires. But you know you have to put in uh, work. You could be wanting to have children. So, you know, you need to have all your ducks in a row. Or this is, um, you may have been intuitively guided to get, I don't know why I'm feeling like this could be your brother in a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that's about to start a family. And they've been divinely guided to do this. You could be talking to your brother or with a Pisces about healing relationships. You may want to heal your relationship with your brother or with a family member or with this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo here that is a family member of yours. Yeah, you want peace and harmony. You don't want any problems. You want uh, everything to, to, to work out pretty good. For some of you too, um, your forever person or your forever match, they have um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces placements, okay? Or there could be a never-ending cycle with you and the mother of your children or you and the father of your children or you and your mom um, and you guys have like this on-again, off-again relationship with each other, but you're trying to, it's been revealed to you that you need to heal this and you need to really um be more nurturing be more supportive be more open to uh how other people feel and how you make other people feel okay i do feel too for a lot of you guys that's probably why you have blockages at this time you need to bring balance to your relationships with the people that you care about the people that you love somebody's mom grandma aunt un, uh not even well maybe uncle but you have ancestors on the other side that is asking for you guys to um heal yourselves heal others be more attentive to your children make sure you are uh focusing on generational wealth you're being more dependable for yourself and for others and to kind of just rest and stay home okay but others of you, if you are a mom or you're looking to invest in a business or something, they want you to wait until, um, again, you're in a, a good space, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and financially, because you will get better outcomes that way, especially with work too. Um, for some of you guys, I do feel... When it comes to your emotions and when it comes to your resources, things are working out for you. Things are balancing out. If things were out of whack, it's it's getting balanced, okay? It's you're getting your your um your bank accounts replenished. You are um learning whatever karmic lessons you need to learn. Some of you are learning a karmic lesson with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo female at this time, and it has a lot to do with how you feel inside or how you've made this person feel inside, you have to be open to knowing that you can cause hurt just as much as somebody else can cause hurt on you. And you guys could have been reflections of each other. And that's why this is happening right now. For others of you, um, something's going to be revealed to you by the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your family. It may be revealed to you that you may need to heal this relationship with this person or it's like it needs to be more of a give and take with the two of you okay i really feel like there's something about this person that reminds you of your childhood and by dealing with this person, you heal past traumas and it allows you to become more emotionally balanced within yourself because of it. It may be revealed to you that you need to be a little bit more nurturing to this person as well. Because I'm getting a lot of energy of you realizing 
the impact you have on people or the impact people have on you. And it's it, it needs to be fixed. It needs to be healed. It need, and it may pertain a lot to just family. This could also be a business idea where you're trying to manifest the, the best, the greatest business plan or what it is that you're going to do because you may have the money, but you're not too sure of what to invest in that's going to make you more money because you want, um, you don't want to get caught up and not do the right thing. So like I said, don't hop on anything so quickly. Make sure you are grounded before you make any decisions, okay? Because that's why you're probably being blocked at this time from things working out because you need to sit there and really center yourselves in order for things to happen. Like you're trying to move like this and Spirit's like, no, you need to sit your ass down. Some of you are losing your voices. You may be talking too much. Stop telling people your dreams. Stop telling people your plans because everybody ain't rooting for you the way you think they are rooting for you. Secret haters on the low. I think I told Aquarius that too. Y'all, because y'all are brother and sister signs, y'all probably got some haters that y'all don't even know about that's probably in your damn family. And they acting like they all there for you and they really ain't. Okay. You may be in a rock and a hard place with this with these people too. And the thing is, you kill them with kindness. That's all you got to do. You kill people with kindness. Because what they wish upon you will come back to them tenfold, baby. So I hope they wishing well. <laughs> okay. Let's see the divine, fem uh, divine masculine energy here. The Leo. Yeah, see, you guys is focusing on you, baby. I know that's right. Focus on you. Because you tired of these karmic cycles here. You're tired of the up and down roller coaster emotions, okay? You're tired of learning these karmic lessons. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to just keep bobbing high as much as I possibly can, especially if you were dealing with a fire sign female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this could just be your lower self, your divine feminine energy here. You're tired of these emotional roller coasters that you keep putting yourself in and you know is your fault. So you're just focused on being happy, being abundant, being uh, creative, uh, being in your element of embracing who you are for who you are. What the heck was that that just flipped? Don't tell me now, Leo. Y'all got some weird shit going on in y'all readings. Normally, that's Scorpio's reading. The weird shit be happening. Yeah. You're more disciplined when it comes to your emotions. Go listen to that Aquarius reading because that's for, definitely for you too. Because you're like, mm-mm. This, this this frustration, this chaos, this turmoil that I had put myself through in the past, that ain't happening again. You're listening to gui your guidance now. Whatever you were told that you needed to do, you're doing. Yeah, because you're over this 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 painful love roller coaster karmic cycles that you keep going through with people. You're like, you know what? In order for me to attract better, I have to be better. So I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on the people that make me happy. And those people that make me happy, I'm going to make happy. Those people that love me, I'm going to love them. It's just that simple. Because you've been probably over here trying to love all the wrong people and they ain't never worked out for you. Okay. But by you standing in your power, you accepting who you are for who you are, you um, embracing everything about you, your inner beauty, your outer beauty, your flaws, and even with your flaws, you know that those are your flaws and you're, you're genuinely working on those things to better yourself, you will be fulfilled within yourself. And by you being fulfilled within yourself, you will attract people that will be fulfilled within themselves. And you won't ever have to sit there and focus on damaged individuals. Because you could have even been the damaged individual and always up in your head about love, about what you want, about where to go, how to go, how to go about it. Like you were just all over the place. And that was because your emotions weren't intact. But because you know to vibe on a high vibrational frequency, because you know that you have to be emotionally balanced and nurturing to yourself and mothering yourself, that's the only way you're going to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up right because you are going to stand in your power. You are going to know what it is to, to um, you're going to know what it feels like to know what it is that you want for you to be um, 
I'm hearing scatterbrain for you not to be scattered brain because you may have been scattered brain for a very long time. You just didn't know if you was coming or going. But you're going to release all this stuff that, you know, this three of swords energy right here. You're going to release all of that. You're going to remove anything that hurts you, brings you confusion, brings you chaos. If it's not joy, if it's not abundance, if it's not working, coming together and using our creative minds to build something better. If it's not, you know, you uh, manifesting your dreams, you, you don't really want to deal with that. Okay, the negative thoughts, all of that you're, is eliminating. Okay, you may have even thought that you would last forever with a Gemini. Or you may have felt like you'll never talk to somebody again. And you're okay with moving forward with that because you're learning that this was a karmic lesson and it wasn't never going to bring you any stability that you wanted, but some toxic stability, knowing that there was always going to be some problems. It was always going to be some chaos. It was always going to be some drama going on. Like that was the only stability that was there that you knew that that would be happening. But I feel like you ain't, you ain't with it no more. Okay. You're going to take a leap of faith on something else because you being guided to sit there and see something differently. Okay. You're realizing that new beginnings don't always hurt. New beginnings are really good for you. New beginnings are going to put you where you need to be. So you're focusing on you. You're focusing on what fulfills you. And it's simple. If they love you, you love them. If they don't love you, show them no love. Okay? No love. I'm hearing that song by Nicki Minaj and uh, August Alzina. I think that's how you pronounce his name. No love. Some of y'all could have sat there and heard that song. But let's see what uh, your random message is from your person and then we'll get into your homegirl advice. This could be you wanting to say this to the person or they want to say this to you. Or this could even be your future person. I don't know. Whatever energy you own right now, take what resonates. You ain't trying to say nothing to nobody. They ain't trying to say nothing to you. Over here, Take a Bow is playing by Rihanna. So y'all might be in the energy of just, mm-mm. I ain't with it. It says, can I take you out on a date? So somebody wants to take you out on a date. It says, I will still choose you. You're dealing with deja vu. I love my family. Out of time. Next to you. Okay? Some of y'all could be feeling like you're out of time, but you're not. Uh, somebody may want to get next to you or you want to get next to them. Um, something may feel like deja vu for you, okay? And you love your family. So if you love your family, make amends with them, okay? Because they love you back. And that may be happening a week from now for some of you. And some of you, it may take up to a year, depending on what's going on. Surrender to spirit. Yeah, definitely watch that Aquarius reading. And especially if you have Aquarius in your chart. It says, learn that lesson so you can let that karmic go. It's time to let it go. Yeah, let that shit go. <laughs> if you ain't get double confirmation on letting something go, let that shit go. All right. Because Aquarius is letting shit go too. And it says, ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desires. I told you. Some of you also may be having the heal mother related issues between you and your mom at this time. Okay. Could be pertaining to her health, your health. It could be affecting the both of your health. So heal and love so that everything can work out. Positive thinking. Aquarius got this card too. In the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want, and I take a lawnmower to that jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. Yeah, in order for you to manifest, just like Aquarius, you have to think positively. You have to vibe on a high vibrational frequency. And just like I told Aquarius, you cannot manifest in a low vibrational environment or around low vibrational people. Love you.